In the previous video, we used a piece of software known as Glary Utilities, completely free, to repair common Windows registry problems. Now we're gonna use the same piece of software to optimize our Windows 8 startup. A lot of people are intimidated by the Windows 8 startup because essentially they don't know what to disable. So we're gonna put that concern to bed today and we're gonna be using Glary Utilities again to do it. Now if you don't have Glary Utilities yet, you can find it at pcmtechhelp.com forward slash downloads where I keep all of my freeware and open source downloads that I've collected over the years in my IT. There's even more of them available at the community page, pcmtechhelp.com forward slash community. Now if you scroll down to the section called cleaning and tuning or system tuning, you can actually see it right here next to the cleaning and tuning section for Glary Utilities. Now once you've installed it, we're going to launch Glary Utilities and we're going to take a look at a module known as, what, where are we at, what, what, what? oh, yep, th th there we are, there we are, optimize and improve, that's the one. We're going to select the startup manager. Now if you've opened this up, remember at the top you have to click modules, then you want to click optimize and improve, then you want to select startup manager. Now the reason I like Glary Utilities as a startup manager is because it has these nice little ratings next to these devices that actually allows you to do a little bit of investigation beforehand before you disable some startup entries. What a lot of people like to do as well is they like to read the executable file in the path, which is another great way to find out what you're allowed to and what you're not allowed to disable. Now the first thing I do is I sort by rating. So I'm going to select the rating tab here and I'm going to select it again because red is usually unnecessary. Malwarebytes anti-malware in this case actually doesn't need to start on system startup in my case because to be honest with you, I don't have the professional version which does a real-time scan in the background. Now when I disable it, I can still launch Malwarebytes anti-malware. It just won't launch itself on startup. Now of course I want Avast to launch on startup because it's my antivirus and I also want my Google Drive sync to launch on startup because it's what synchronizes my uh, files to the cloud as we did in an earlier video in this series as well. So other than that, you're usually greeted with about 20 or 30 items on this. What you want to do is if, you, if there's no rating for it, we actually need to go in and do a little bit of investigation, but don't worry, it's not too much. Let's click and drag this little scroll bar to the right, and then let's click and drag this tab to the right as well. What we're looking for is the .exe file that's being launched, I'm sorry, the .exe file that's being launched in this particular startup item. For this one, it's mbamgui.exe. For this one, it's avastui.exe. And for this one, it's Google Drive Sync.exe. Let's take mbamgui.exe for our example. Let's go ahead and open up our favorite internet browser. In my case, it's Google Chrome. And I'm going to slide it all the way to the right and use the Windows 8 lock feature to actually lock it to half of my screen. And then I'm going to scroll my startup manager to the left hand side so I can do a little bit of homework and investigation here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to write this mbamgui.exe into a Google search. So I go to google.com and it'll bring up Google's homepage and I'm going to type mbamgui, I'm sorry, gui.exe. I'm going to press enter. Now the first thing you see is usually a couple results about the actual process. What you want to do is a little bit of investigation. Usually the first two or three results will give you the information you need and you can know whether or not it's reliable or trustworthy or necessary. So if we go through here, we can say it's located the folder, process nowhere known as Malwarebytes Anti-Malware belongs to the software Malwarebytes Anti-Malware or Malwarebytes Anti-Malware version for Malwarebytes.org. It says if the file is free, the file form can help you determine it's virus, trojan, spyware, or adware. And we can keep scrolling down through here, and it says some malware camouflages itself as malware by its GUI. And so you can do a little bit of investigation here and find out if it's exactly what you want to start on startup or not. And that, for that, you're going to have to make your own judgment. Like in my case, I said I don't need it because I don't need it to run on startup for real-time software. A lot of software that adds itself to this category is like Adobe is really big on it, Flash, Java, all of these updaters, Google updaters, and a lot of software adds itself to the startup so that you actually, <laughs> you don't even need it to do it, but it does it. And so essentially, that's all you need to know. You go through each of your executables if it does not have a rating and go ahead and disable them if you feel that you do not need them. If you have any questions or concerns about certain programs launching on startup, make sure you join the free Google Plus community at pcmtechhelp.com forward slash community where there's a ton of text there ready to help you free of charge and that's what we do here. 
Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well. Like the video as well. You can see the next video, of course, on my channel. And remember, my name is Craig Chamberlain. You're watching the PCM Tech Help Show.